I have a lot of questions about monitoring and mixing and loudness and dynamics and a compressor and why do you compress and how loud should loud be and and how to get it loud as the commercial uh, mixes and and I'll tell you this right now you can't get anywhere as far as loudness is concerned unless you have a reference level unless you know what other people uh, in other studios, in professional studios, what levels they are listening to the music on in their studios. So if you have, if you're using the same listening level, the same mixing level in your studio as they are in their studio, then when you compress, when you use a compressor or when you use a certain level on your fader uh, here on your uh, st your home studio, um, it will have the same effect on their studio um, in, uh, or for someone else. And, and so not only is it good for translation uh, between studios, but it helps you to be able to determine um, why. You know, you don't, you're you not just going to put a compressor on a, uh, a channel anymore. You're going to know why you're putting it on there and you're going to know how much louder you're trying to make it or what type of effect you're trying to go for. Something tells me that you at home are either monitoring too loud or too soft and uh, you'll, you'll discover this for yourself. Now my, my studio here at home is probably different than yours so you'll have to make some um, uh, changes for your setup. I'm going to go over my setup uh, and a few um, theory, points of theory and uh, and then during this first segment, and then I'm going to do a segment after um, with just the calibration levels. Um, we are going to be following uh, the procedure as outlined by Bob Katz in his book Mastering Audio. Um, in chapter 15, uh, he has a, ch a chapter about how to make better recordings in the 21st century and it talks all about levels and the loudness wars and how loud recordings used to be versus how loud they are now. This is something we've all been familiar with and it's a problem that we run into as um, home studio recording artists because um, again, how loud do you want to make it? Uh, so uh, this is using a metering system called the K metering system um, and I'll show you uh, one of the color slides here of the K-meters in just a second. So the K-20 metering is used for theaters um, where they can make very, very quiet recordings and turn the level up, the playback level up, really loud. Because if you make a really quiet recording, then you can turn the level up really loud, right? But if you make a really loud recording, then you have to turn your level, your playback levels, down. And that's what we're doing with this one right here is we're actually making our recording much louder, but we're, but we're turning our playback levels down. Um, for this uh, uh, calibration that I'm doing on my studio and what I recommend for you to do is to use the K14. So this is K K20, K14, and K12. And I'm going to use K14 as my uh, uh, mastering level for this studio. Um, there's one last thing that I need to note before we move on. And that is, there was another thread that I saw, and someone had said, well, why don't I, why can't I just do all of my mastering on, um, in, in the mixing state? So I do, I have all of my channels mixed down into the buses and then have a final mix. Well, why can't I just plug my mastering uh, uh, effects into that last channel and just do the, run the whole thing off all at once? The reason for this is there are actually two sides of the recording uh, channel. The first side of the recording channel is where we work uh, during the uh, pr uh, production process, during the recording and creation process. Um, the second side is the mastering side. 
And so you have a pre-site and a post-site. And the difference between these is absolutely essential. Because what I was saying here with the, uh, the leveling, um, if you make a loud recording, then the people on the other side are going to turn their stereos down, right? But on the other hand, like with the theaters, if you make a really quiet recording, then on the other side, they turn it up. So when one side is turning things down, the other side is turning things up. And when that side is turning things down, our side is turning things up. So they actually work in, in mirror fashion. And so um, you, ha you have to be aware of this when you're setting the, the monitor levels, because at the, the, the channels, that, that, that division in your recording process is right here on your, on your channel faders. Uh, they, one half of them works one way, and one half of them works the other way. And when you make an adjustment to the, uh, the levels or to the sound on the uh, mastering, on the, on the master channels, on the, on the stereo out, uh, output channels, or on the monitors themselves, you actually have to do it opposite. You have to do the opposite of what uh, you want the effect to be on your recording process. So, what this means is that if we turn the monitor levels down during this calibration, then our channel fader levels while we're recording are going to have to go up. We're going to have to jack those levels up because we're not hearing it as loud as we need to in our monitors. But if we turn our monitors down, uh, or if we turn our monitors up, uh, if, we, if we max our monitors out, for example, then we'll have to turn our faders down on, on the workstation so far down that they'll be like down, you know, in the noise floor. And, and, and don't worry about the noise floor so much, especially when you're using 24-bit recording, okay? That's one thing that you've really got to get in, in, into your mind. It's very important. Don't worry about your levels that much. I think people freak out a little bit too much about it, especially at 24 bits. So, um, that's what I uh, am, am going to show you more when we're doing the calibration, is that you're going to notice the K20, K14, and K12 uh, uh, calibrated noise levels are actually at different volume levels, and it gets um, it gets it starts quiet at K20, and it gets louder and louder at K14 and K12. And when it get, when the noise level when the noise level gets louder, your monitor levels go down, and when your monitor levels go down, your recording levels go up. 